Hi everyone, we're off to have a sleepover in the forest. So we're in Sherwood Forest and we're looking for a nice place to camp to test out the new hiking tent. I've uh, seam sealed it, oops, Ugh. hold on, too many brambles and uh, excuse it, cobweb in mouth, yuck. Right, we'll start again. I seam sealed the Langshan 2 uh, the other day. I will put uh, a few pictures up of doing that. I had to do it on the garden and uh, it's a bit of a faff, but never mind. I picked a really nice day, really hot, to seam seal my trekking tent and uh, it's pegged out on the patio and I can't, I can't peg it in so I've used my gym weights to uh, weight it down on the corners but it's up and uh, it's seam sealed, it's just got to wait now three hours for it to dry. So uh, find something else to do and the dogs aren't very happy because they want to come out on the garden and the tent's in the way. Well, it looks like it's going to rain, so that's a good time to go and test the tent out to see if the seam seals worked. Yes, nice wet camp in the woods. So my husband says I'm not to go camping in the woods without Freya, and so did Freya. Freya says you're not going without her, because stood there crying, so we we'll had to take Freya, didn't we? So Freya's here for protection. Protection. I said that wrong. But. So Freya's here for protection. So we're going to search for uh, a nice campsite. We've got quite a bit of a walk to the area that I think I'm going to camp and spend the night. We will see if we find a better place. It's one or two areas uh, that people do camp at regular, but. Um, some of it might be a bit overgrown because if you can see <laughs> there's not many flat areas that haven't got brambles on so we're not going to try these this section of woodland because you can't really get a tent in there it's far too much bracken and brambles so we will try further up this time of year it's not easy trying to find a place for a nice quiet woodland camp. Flatten the grass down a bit, this might be okay. Nice birds to listen to. Maybe just over here might be a good idea. Or here on this edge. Looking down. Oops, falling in a big hole. View is not bad. Bit, not much to see because of the trees, but not bad at all. And the grass needs flattening. But yes, here might be a good idea. This is another spot I've used before, but the grass is too long. So, carry on looking. Uh, that's all on the slope. This one's another favourite spot. There's lots of uh, campers use this one, but I've got to shift all them sticks. So the other one, grassy one, might be better. So we might go back to that one. So we've decided out of all the places we've just looked is here. There's no brambles, there's no sticks much. Just move a few things. Looks pretty flat. So this is the sleeping bag, nature hike down sleeping bag and it will squash a bit smaller than that so this is the Lam Shan 2 Pro and uh, some pegs in there 
we have the footprint. So I think we will put that there. Good girl. Good girl. You stand on there. Oh. I've disadvantages of bringing a dog. Don't tread on it, you. So we're up, but I think I might change the guy ropes on this, like a lot of people have uh, changed them. They are too fiddly and not easy to um, adjust really. So that is the next project after seam sealing it before we actually go hiking with it. So it's not quite straight, but uh, and it's quite low to the floor. But it will do for now. Now that I've either dropped a peg somewhere or there was one missing because I have no peg for that side. But it's not windy and it seems perfectly all right. Look what I've just found. I found the peg. So this is the thermo rest I've got. It's actually a bit bigger than the tent when it's tents packed away. So uh, we'll get that out. And I don't know why, Frey, why are you eating the tree? Hey, why? You are silly. So there's the thermalite blown up and it's quite comfy, even though it doesn't look very thick. And my friend slept on that when uh, she forgot her air mattress. So overall, a few tweaks I need to make. Um, I don't like them pegs. It doesn't seem much to for to grab on to the line, the guy line. Let's. Uh, I might be in for a bit of rain tonight, but we're under some trees. Even though this one's a bit breaky, I don't uh, normally like going under big trees, but these aren't too bad. These little trees, and people are always um, camping here. So the na the nature hike down sleeping bag is the next thing give me a little shake and we'll put that in the most important thing we need to make a cup of tea so that is next so let's get that to the bottom end that to the bottom end. I think we need to turn this round. Ah. Yes, that's where you're sleeping tonight with me, young girl. Yeah, that's where you're sleeping tonight. You're right, nosy in, aren't you? Yes, you've got a sleeping there. I've not brought you a sleeping bag. You'll have to share mine. Yes, Is that all right, Freya? Come on, lay down then. Oh, hello, Frifri. Yes, this is where we're sleeping tonight, isn't it, Freya? Hey, better put 
the kettle on now. Now the bed stuff's out. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> she is such a good girl, aren't you, baby? Hey. So she's been entertaining herself while I've been setting up. Um, I think I've got it a bit wonky in places, but it's the first time, except for being up in the garden, this one's been up. I, I actually do prefer um, my Helvellyn, but it's a lot heavier. So uh, you can't have everything, can you? You've either got to go with the weight and the size of the tent, it doesn't pack down quite as small as this one, or you've got to go with lightweight. Can't, so we've gone with lightweight, so we have to put up with a different type of tent. I think I might need to put a bit of a bungee thing on here um, to make it easier to fasten back. These these are not very they're not very big, so I might put something on to try and uh, get them sorted. So we have this stove. I like this stove because it sits flat on the floor, so it doesn't fall over even if the ground's not level. I've always liked this stove. I've had this stove a long time. Frey can hear all the pheasants, can't you? Hey, bet you're itching to go and chase them, aren't you? Hey, you're itching to go and chase the pheasants? You can hear them, can't you? You want to go and, go and, go, go and, go and get them? Are you going to go get the pheasants? No, he's staying in the tent. And might not be getting the rain now that it looked like we was getting, so might not be testing out the tent as good as I thought it was. But anyway, I found um, little things I need to improve. I'd seen them on YouTube, um, a lot of uh, things that people had done different, so I might just change one or two things. Mostly the guy lines and the pegs. I don't like the pegs. Right, let's find what we have done with the tea bags. Tea bags and milk in there and my mug I've had all this kit a long time from when I used to camp before I had the van so uh, it's all coming out again So, Freya has decided she likes it in here. So, I've got quite a bit of room to put my rucksack and stuff, but it could all go inside if it rains because there's plenty of room for me and the dog in here. I don't know what she's doing. What are you doing? Uh, so, yes, my uh, Helvellyn has got a, a big vegetable that. Um, I could cook in but like I say it's heavier so it's either you carry the weight or you have more comfort so but Freya seems to like it she's just killed and claimed my sleeping bag I might both take Freya on the pilgrims trail um, with me seeing as she likes the tent likes camping and she definitely likes sleeping in sleeping bags she slept um, in sleeping bags with me since she was a little tiny puppy so she's quite happy curling up with me in my sleeping bag. What are you grumbling at? Hey? There's somebody about. There's a path just back, back there. She probably can hear something. I'm sure I should give up with the pheasants because there's tons of pheasants. I keep hearing them. And uh, you can tell she's getting old. She um, She's now ignoring the pheasants where at one time she'd be after all the pheasants. She used to have her own thermo rest, but I uh, gave it away not long ago. I gave it to um, 
a lady that I walk the dog with for her daughter to uh, go to to uh, guides camp with. Um, I just I didn't think I'd use it again. So now I've got to buy you a new one, have we? Or are you going to share mine? No, then. Go and find them pheasants. So I think we could have the poles up a little higher. And we are on a slope, so that's probably why it's not pegged out quite as nice. But somehow there's got a few knots in the guy lines. And uh, so they're not, it's not adjusting quite well. But it's not bad. Sun's just going down. Time to get all the lights out. A little bit longer before bed, before we go to bed. It's about half past nine now. So me and Freya's just having a little walk before bed. It's nearly dark. You can see the sun's just setting behind me. Just uh, gonna have a little tip Freya, see if she wants a wee before it's uh, bedtime. Freya, what are you doing in there? There's all brambles. You'll ruin your new coat. Come on then, let's go. Let's go this way. It's better this way, there's less brambles. Come on. Good girl. Well, the midges are out. I should have brought a candle. I was going to bring a candle and I forgot. So uh, we uh, might be going in the tent in a bit. Hey Frey, Frey Frey's got a coat on, keep her warm. And um, I brought my woolly hat to sleep in, just in case it's cold. So oh, I did bring an extra jumper. I said I'd not brought any extra clothes, but I bought an extra jumper. That's about it. So we've just got the sleeping bag and uh, uh, using this as a pillar, rolling this up as, to use as a pillar. It's come really light tonight. We're not uh, doing too much. It's getting a bit spooky in these woods now. But, uh, see over there? Slowly getting dark. Not be long before it's completely dark. I hope it's not, this light's not too bright for you. Managed to hang myself a few lights up there so I can see what I'm doing before I go to bed. Frey Frey's sleeping in a coat, aren't you, darling? She's got her new padded quilty coat that does instead of her sleeping bag. She might not come and get in mine. Hey, aren't you looking at the camera? Hey, you're going to say hello to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Hey, no, she says, no, I don't like that light you've got on your head, Mum. Before it gets too dark, oh, let me shine it. There we are. Before it gets too dark, um, I've had a new little table to put uh, my cups and different things on. And I treat myself to a new chair, Trekology chair, lightweight, foldable. We're all set now to, for the three day trip to um, on the Pilgrim's Trail. I've got a lot on for the rest of the year, so I don't really do it, want to do it in the winter. It probably might be the beginning of next year, as soon as we're into spring for next year, we'll have to see. I've uh, got an awful lot of different things planned, so I might not be able to fit it in. So we'll see. Right, morning everyone. Right, we had a good night and we'll see if we can get this sleeping bag into this stuff sack. Should be pretty easy. The sun's out this morning. Really nice. You can see behind me, it's looking really good. So this is easy. Just stuff's in. I know. What are we doing? Try it. And then we 
just put the cap on. Now that will go down smaller than that if I make any an effort. That was with no real effort. If I kind of knelt on it, it would uh, go down even further. This Thermarest bag might have been for the other one that I used to have. Um, because it don't seem to want to go back in here and let that out. I'll do it all the way. That should have done and then we roll it up. But it tends to want to suck air back in. So now we have to fold it in half and then squeeze some more out. So there's a knack to this. You have to squeeze as much air as you possibly can out of it, then tighten the room where the air goes in up because it sucks air back in. So the idea is I've nicked that off the tent squished as much air as I could out, tightened it up, squished some more air out and then quickly tightened the valve and now it will go into the bag and then I can just take this bit off that belongs to the tent it can come off now with the tent and then this can just be squeezed into this bag. It needs a bigger bag actually. I suppose I could go and find one. Might be like easier. Because it is a bit fiddly to get this back in its bag. And it don't really fit in completely, but it sticks out the top a bit. Oh, that's not too bad. Well actually <laughs> better than I thought. So we've been here till the tent dries out and uh, so I haven't got to take a pack away a wet tent and Freya's just been off hunting pheasants. It's quite uh, a nice morning and there's a bit of a breeze. We didn't have too many midges last night and not much condensation and the tent has uh, dried out with what little bit of dew there was this morning. No, it was uh, a bit damp when I first got up. And Freya's having a whale of a time, aren't you? Having a whale of a time this morning. She enjoyed sleeping in my sleeping bag. It's come in handy for hanging things so I don't lose them. <laughs> like coats <laughs> and dog leads. And I did hang uh, my rucksack up there earlier on. Just pack away spoon and everything back in there and uh, pack the things in these back into the rucksack. This is a 35 litre pack and I have plenty of room considering I've not even squished anything down. Stay upright. I've got all this to go out here and the tent fits in there and none of that's been really squished in, just been plonked in. So uh, I think this pack will be fine for doing the Pilgrim's Trail. Right, better have put the tent down now. So that's packed down. It's quite small, but I could get it really a lot smaller than that if I squeezed all the air out of it and tightened up these uh, straps. There she comes. Freya! Go girl. Have you been hunting pheasants? Have you? You're too old to catch them pheasants these days, aren't you? You are. It fits nicely in there. And as soon as I have not really squeezed any air out of anything or crammed anything in, um, I think that pack will be perfectly fine gas tank sits nicely in there. 
and the water. Freya, what are you doing again? What has that tree ever done to you? Hey? Just a footprint to pack away into this small bag and then we'll be off. Sun's coming out nicely. Look at that sun now. Leave no trace except for a bit of uh, squished grass. I can get everything, including a dog, back on the trail, eh? To go back to the, the van and then drive home from Sherwood Forest. So I said I was in Sherwood Forest. There is a lot of Sherwood Forest. Um, we're not in the bit where the major oak is. Um, that's managed and you're not allowed to camp in there. But um, originally Sherwood Forest, old oak woodland stretched for miles and miles and miles right towards Nottingham. Uh, there's not an awful lot of it left now, it's just mostly patches and a lot of it has been turned into Forestry Commission land when they've replaced the trees with um, the pines. So uh, you don't very often get any uh, an awful lot of natural woodland left. And this little area here is one of the few natural woodlands that's, that's been left and not planted with pine trees. So uh, there's little pockets all over everywhere. Leave no trace. Oops, I've left the dog. Okay, come on. Go girl. We might go down to the river actually and uh, have a look. I don't think I fancy. Oh, I don't know. Can I get down there? I always used to walk down here, but the motorbikes have made it a bit. Ah, we'll walk round. So let's go and have a little walk along the river and then uh, back to the car. There's the river down there and whether you can see it, just glimpse a bit of blue. This all used to be open at one time when I was a lot younger and then we had a spell of raspberry bushes all the way along here appeared they look like they've gone and we're now getting the oaks back and these are naturally planted they've not been planted by anybody they're just all coming back trip over something. This is busy looking at the river and not watching my feet. What are you doing in the mud, Freya? Come on. Come on, Freya. Brambles, brambles. I need the thicker trousers on. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hey, for it. Far too many brambles. Ooh. I have to say, I do like this rucksack. It's got um, like a plastic bot bottom to it. So when you put it on wet grass, it doesn't get wet. Let's see if I can show you. So that's it for this video. Uh, I've tested the tent out and uh, it's not really got tested out for rain but I've decided I'm going to make a few alterations like some other people have made. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. And if anybody's got any thoughts about the Langshan 2 Pro, the guy lines or seam sealing the tent uh, just put some comments below 
and I'll answer them if I can. And uh, or if you've got a Langshan too and you've made some alterations, tell me about it. Be most interested to know.